Hello. Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to another episode of Switch It Up, where we are going to be talking about the new releases hitting the Nintendo Switch eShop. We're going to go ahead and let this uh, run for just a, a little bit, let some folks get in here. Hope everybody has had a good week so far. We did push this week's uh, Switch It Up back a day just so that we could take care. Hey, DOA, take care of our unboxing video last night for the PlayStation Classic Edition. Hope you all enjoyed that, or at least if you haven't, make sure that you head on over to that video where you at. There you are. How you doing, everybody? So this is, again, this week's episode of Switch It Up, where we are going to talk about the different releases hitting the Nintendo Switch this week. We have uh, 24 total games hitting the eShop. I missed one, which we'll talk about uh, in just a moment, uh, or towards the end, actually. It's the last game of the week that we have to talk about here. Uh, we have a lot going on this week. We have Smash Brothers, some little game Smash Brothers. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if that's something any of you would be interested in or not, but uh, there's this game called Smash Brothers that's you know, they're thinking might actually be halfway big at some point in time. I don't know. Who knows what these days. Now, one thing that uh, I do want to throw out there, I might have my girlfriend. That's all right. She's more than welcome to come on by and hang out with us. Now, there were a few games that announced yesterday, or at least that were released yesterday, that uh, we're going to go back and talk about a little bit just because they are new releases for this week. Hey, John, welcome to the stream. Glad to see you here, my friend. Um, we are going to be getting started here in just a moment. Smash Bros. and end the video stream. Uh, no, no, no. We, there's a lot to talk about. There's, there's more to talk about this week than Smash Brothers because everybody else is going to be talking about Smash Brothers. And what we're going to start off with this week is Demetrius, the big cynical adventure. And this is $9.99 and you do get 50 Nintendo eShop coins. Now, this is something that actually did start or was available as of yesterday. And this looks to be a point-and-click style adventure uh, where you play as Demetrius. You know, very, uh, very neat-looking hand-drawn animations. The good thing about doing this on a Tuesday night, too, by the way, uh, chit-chat, is the fact that uh, there's no raw to have to worry about. Too bad they don't give a crap. What? Embark on a journey. What kind of journey? To creepy places? We're going to my ex's house. And exotic ones. That could also be hers. Uh, stealing is bad. Murder is badder. To make vital choices. So it looks like you play as Bjorn. Don't care about Waluigi. Or smash the Waluigi's in the game. Wow, Snow White looks like she was rather buxom there. Meet weird characters. The man, Becky Lynch. Actually, I am a fan of Becky Lynch. She's actually really pretty awesome. But that is Dem Demetrius, the big cynical adventure. It is already available. And uh, it's the journey of an idiot. It's my story. Okay, it's not. Uh, Bjorn Thonen, a slob of an antique dealer who lives in Paris, is robbed one night after coming home drunk. Well, that wouldn't be me because I don't drink. Forced to conduct his own investigation with the help of his neighbor, Sandra, he ends up in a murky, mysterious affair. Will these unlikely heroes be able to rise up and discover ancient secrets? A long, varied, standalone adventure. That'll take you 8 to 12 hours. It's not terrible. Over 1,500 lines of dialogue. Hand-drawn art in full HD. A high level of interactivity. Multiple fun mini-games. In-game hints. Fully translated in en into English. I can't even speak English. Chit-chat, you did not just say Roman Reigns that you hope that he's going to be in Smash. Uh, but nine ninety nine for Demetrius, the cynical, the big cynical adventure. Now, Monica e, uh, Ia Garda Docelios, and I'm sure that I butchered the D 
daylights out of that one. This actually looks like it is a cartoon series somewhere and has been adapted to a game. Let's check it out. Uh, now in this, uh, it is a couch co-op game for one to four players with a focus on teamwork and cooperation, feeling the ability to play as a group with many heroes from the Brazilian IP, uh, Monica and friends. Everyone must have a different role and help to defend the castles against the Smudge Horde. No, did I forget to turn the volume down on that one? Nope, I got it. Okay. Use magical bunnies with unique powers. Load them into cannons and fire them at oncoming enemies. Monica, Maggie, Jimmy Five, Smudge, and their friends from the Lemon Tree Street need your help on a great adventure. You can play with one to four players. Play with friends from the Lemon Tree Street. Play with 16 heroes from the Brazilian IP Monica and Friends. Three game modes from easy to hard. And this is also available now. It is $14.99, and you do get 75 Nintendo eShop coins. Now, the next three we're going to actually talk about together, the next four, actually, because they're part of a series. This is Altier Totori, The Adventure of Arlen DX. This is $39.99, and you get 200 Nintendo eShop coins. There is also the... Alterior Maruru, The Apprentice of Ireland DX, that's also $39.99, and you get 200 Nintendo eShop coins. And then you have Altier Rorona, The Alchemist of Ireland DX. This is also $39.99, 200 eShop coins. Getting a theme here. But if you want to get all of them, they actually have all three in one pack for $89.99. You get 450 Nintendo eShop coins. <clears throat> Excuse me. You figure this will save you about $30 off of the total cost. Let's check out the video for this one. Um, and in this, the... Uh, the three parts of the Ireland series are released in one deluxe edition, compiled with much of the DLC that has been re-released until now. Um, let me know how the audio sounds. It's coming through a little bit hot on my end. Um, so, The Alchemist of Ireland DX, first released in the Ireland series, the main character of Verona must save her ulterior from being closed by the kingdom using synthesis, exploration, and battle, gain recognition for the ulterior and save it from being closed. And Ulterior Totori, The Adventure of Ireland, the second release in the series, uh, you'll search for her missing mother. Totori tutors the world of Ireland as an adventure accompanied by her friends. And then in the third game, that is Ulterior Maruru, The Apprentice of Ireland, the third release in the series. The princess of the small frontier country of Arles, Maruru plans to use alchemy to stimulate the growth of her small country. Um... Basically, in this, it's a single-player uh, RPG game. As you can tell, it's kind of a, a JRPG format uh, for the overall layout of the game itself. Um, don't I'm not disrespecting Becky Lynch. I like her a lot. She's actually kind of hot. So that is the Ulterior uh, Ireland Series Deluxe Pack, and that will, like I say, all three games are available now. Um, another one that is available as of today, this is Toki, and this is actually a re-release of a game from quite some time ago. Uh, let's check this one out. It is $29.99, and you do, do get 150 Nintendo eShop coins. Um, Toki sets off on a new adventure. The cult action platformer game originally released in arcade machines back in 89 is back with a Super Simeon new version featuring all new hand-drawn graphics and re-orchestrated music. Toki the warrior lived peacefully in the jungle with his sweetheart, Miho. Appearing out of nowhere, the terrifying voodoo sorcerer, Vukima... Vukim Dulu and heinous demon Bashtar kidnap Miho and turn the poor Toki into a chimpanzee. Unfortunately for his sweetheart, he has become a hairy, lethargic ape. Uh, playing as Toki, discover lush environments invaded by foul creatures. Uh, you'll have to make the best of it to succeed. Luckily, Toki can walk, swim, jump, climb, and spit. Um, let's see, what else do we have in here? Uh, this is a single-player action platformer arcade game, 
and this thing just looks like it'd be a lot of fun um, and it will have exclusive content to the Switch. I honestly don't remember the arcade version of this. Uh, in some ways, it almost reminds me of Rampage, just with the gorilla and whatnot that uh, that Toki utilizes as well. But Toki is available now, $29.99, 150 Nintendo eShop coins. Uh, two more to talk about that already released today, and this is Gear Club 2 Unlimited, $59.99, and this you get 300 Nintendo eShop coins. And I will say this looks pretty stunning. I'm hoping that the footage that they're showing here is in-game footage and not just CGI demos, if you know what I mean. Uh, this has been the most successful game of Eden Studios or Eden Game Studio is back on the Nintendo Switch with the pedal to the metal race along more than 1,800 miles of races. As you progress through races, admire the growing collection of cars in your personal garage. Gear Club Unlimited 2 has more than 50 licensed cars from the world's most famous manufacturers, such as the Porsche 718 Boxster, the 918 Spider, the 911 GT2 RS, Dodge Viper, Lotus 311, or the McLaren 720s. You can personalize them and make them unique. You can change their appearance with paint and bodywork or change their driving performance with engine tuning. Um, the huge playing area includes more than 250 races located in four rich environments and diverse tracks. Players begin with 51 famous racing cars made by some of the finest manufacturers in the world, including Porsche, Lotus, McLaren, Koenigsegg, and Bugatti. Uh, in story mode, save family team from bankruptcy by taking on charismatic riders of all nationalities. It should be drivers, not riders. Players can create and manage their club and recruit the best drivers from across their path. They're free to challenge rival clubs from around the world to make the most out of their tracks. Players can manage and personalize their garage as well as their racing cars, which can be visually customized and performance-tuned, and you can play alone or with friends. It is one to two player locally. Unfortunately, it doesn't talk at all about any online play, which would have been really nice if it would have had, but that is Gear Club Unlimited 2. The final one to talk about that came out today already, this is Monster Boy and the Cursed Kingdom. If you're not familiar with Monster Boy, this is a game series that started way back on the Sega Master System. Now this, I believe, will be the second Monster Boy game to, to hit the Switch. I know there's one other one. I'm not sure if there's two others off the top of my head. I love the animation in this. It looks really, really good. And if you've played any of the Monster Boy games on the Master System or the Genesis, uh, I think you'd agree that they've done a really good job. Hey, Sean, of you know bringing Monster Boy to the next generation of games. Um, I absolutely love the animation that they've done here. It looks great. Now, one of the things I'm hoping, and I haven't watched this video yet, um, in the first game, you could actually go back and forth from, you know, the retro style to this more cartoony look if you wanted to kind of, um, uh, you know, go with more of that retro appeal. Sure, John, go ahead. Nice long game, 15 hours long. I really think if Sega would have produced more games like this, they'd still be making games and systems and hardware. Um, obviously, they were still making games, but they'd still be making hardware. $39.99, 200 Nintendo eShop coins. Kind of wish it was $29.99 instead of $39. Um, but overall, not a bad deal there. And that includes everything that came out yesterday and today. Now let's talk about what's going to come out tomorrow and the rest of the week. The first one here, this is Energy Cycle Edge. This is normally $4.99, $59.99, $50.99, $100 
15% off. There is a demo that you can download too, uh, but it is $4.24 if you purchase before the 5th. So if you purchase before uh, tomorrow. Rated E for everyone. Excuse me. Kind of a neat puzzle idea if that's what this is. If it's like a, a match. Solve the original puzzles. Okay. I'm intrigued. The 3D effects on here are actually really, really neat. It almost reminds me of 3D Tetris. So how do you complete the puzzle is what I'm curious about. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Uh, John, I see your question. I'll get to it in just a second. So in Energy Cycle Edge, the main idea of the game is when you activate each cell in the game field, it changes the colors of the cell and any adjacent cells in a straight line. The cell switches between three colors, and your task is to make them all match the same color. Okay. 44 levels with four different sets, uh, ambient soundtracks, random colors, classic cells for fans of the original game. Didn't know there was an original game. Uh, this is one. I'm going to download the demo. And I'm going to check that out. And I will report back what I think about it. Uh, so John Early here asked, do I think Punch-Out for the Wii should be re-released on the Switch? Uh, I mean, imagine you use the motion controls for Punch-Out Wii with the Joy-Con controllers. Um, that's kind of what ARMS is. Uh, if you haven't played ARMS, I'd check it out. Um, I didn't buy it. There is a demo available on the Switch that you might... Excuse me, I'm so sorry. Uh, that you might want to check out. Um, another thing, too, that you might want to do as well is Norman the Gaming Historian just released his video today talking about the history of Punch-Out. And it's a great video. It's like 45 minutes long. I watched the whole thing. It's amazing. Um, no, I don't want to see it re-released on the Switch. I want to see a fresh Punch-Out on the Switch. Um, but if it uses the Wii version to, you know, basically as an engine or, or as a starting point, it's a good place to start. The Wii version of Punch-Out, really good. Um, the next game coming up, this is Carcassonne, and this is 1999 with 100 Nintendo eShop coins available if you do purchase it. Let's check out the video here. The best-selling tile-based game is now available on the Switch. I am so sorry. I apologize. Draw and place your tiles and build your medieval city. Cities, roads, masonries, and fields will help you enlarge your landscape where you can place your followers. The me please knights, robbers, or farmers. Each me plea, me, me pee, meeple, meeple will help you control your territory and win points. But be careful, you need your wits and tactics to optimize your points. Uh, simple gameplay and easy accessible tactics mean fun for the whole family. Challenging for up to six players. Relive all the fun of the board game experience on your Nintendo Switch in TV or tabletop mode. Play, play against the computer. Face off against your friends. Choose the three. I am so sorry. Choose the 3D landscapes or try out the aerial view to refine your strategy. Two expansions included. Discover brand new titles and meeples in the two expansions included in the game. And you can play with up to six players in this. For 20 bucks, if you like board games, might not be a bad game to check out. Now this one here, I'm seeing robots. I'm seeing destruction. I was instantly interested in this this is rival mega gun and this comes out on the sixth actually it's 14.99 and man i want this is one i'm probably gonna end up buying um if you are a fan of ikaruga and you guys you know you hear me talk about it a lot this is an amazing looking game uh, it's a split screen vertical shmup uh, where you transform into a gigantic boss ship your mega gunship to invo invade your opponent's screen 
Multiple playable heroes, each with their own special weapons and mega gunship boss form. Intense two-player couch competitive couch competitive local versus battles. Online battles where you can challenge your friend. Unlockable gear and weapons for customizing your ship. And a single-player arcade mode. Um, one to two players, and it does support online play, too. The way I think about this is like Battle Tetris meets Ikaruga. It really, really looks awesome. And I agree with you, DOA. I think a physical copy of this would be absolutely outstanding. Um, it, it has that feeling of a bullet hell, um, but then a classic shmup as well. I think this would be really, really fun to play. I think the animation style, too, is really outstanding. This is Rival Megagon, and this comes out on the 6th. Pretty bad to the bone, if you do ask me. Um, next is Ultimate Runner, which I thought we were kind of through with Runner games, but this is 1999 and also comes out on the 6th. This very much looks like just a standard mobile game that's been ported to the Switch. It's the Minions game. That's pretty much what this looks like. Which, I loved the Minions game when it came out, but it it had its day, and it's over. It's gone. I don't know why we're, we're revisiting Endless Runners. And especially an endless runner at this cost. And granted, you know, graphics aren't everything. Um, Horizon Chase Turbo proved that uh, really well. Um, great game. Wow, terrible editing on that. Just like, bam, you're done. Um, it is a single player. They're calling it an action sports racing. 20 bucks? No. This is a hard pass for me. Uh, next up is Long Story. Unfortunately, I could not find any video for this. Uh, it is 1189, comes out on the 6th as well. And it is a charming LB, LGBTQ plus friendly dating sim set at the weirdly lovable Weasel Heights Middle School. Let's you pick your pronouns as well as who or even if you would like to date any of your romanceable friends. On your first day of school, you discover that the previous owner of your locker has mysteriously disappeared. Um, let's see. What do we have here? Uh Looks like eight different episodes that you can play. It is a simulation RPG game, and it is a single player only coming out on the 6th. Um, Hand-drawn animation as well, which really looks to be the, uh, you know, the trend for a lot of these point-click style adventures that are hitting the Switch. Now, Color Zen also comes out on the 6th, and this is actually free to play. Uh, let us check out the video right about Meow. Color Zen is a new kind of puzzle game, one that invites you to put on your headphones, relax, and find your way through an abstract world of colors and shapes. Um, with simple, intuitive controls, the game invites you to relax and immerse yourself. There are no points or penalties for failures. Everybody's a winner! I, I don't always like that. Just an abstract world of color to move through at your own pace. So put on your headphones and find a way with Color Zen. Meditative puzzle cracking flow. Just match the colors to win the level. Immersive soundtrack keeps you in the groove. 460 levels to solve all DLCs and music by Steve Woodzell. It is a single-player game. Um, in some ways, if anyone ever remembers the Star Trek The Next Generation sh episode, The Game, um, yeah, yeah, a little bit of that. Just get the disc in the thing, and everything's wonderful. So there you can see we have successfully downloaded our demo that we were downloading a little bit earlier. And that is Color Zen, and it will be free coming on the 6th. 
Now, Beholder, the complete edition, this also comes out on the 6th, $14.99, and let's check it out. Helps if you're on the video when you want to play the video. So this is by Curve Digital. Will someone get the phone? Dear Carl Stein, we are happy to announce you've been appointed a landlord of the Class D apartment block on Krushwitz 6. So again, an older game, 2016, almost three years old. Now, I don't mind these ports, just don't charge me release day pricing for it. So it's you spy on your tenants. You're kind of a slumlord or a landlord, it appears. Almost, oh, what is it? Uh, Night Trap. So very simplistic animation here, just black and white for the main character sprites and everything. Fourteen ninety nine. Uh, it's a narrative award-winning dark dystopian adventure now coming to the Switch. Have you ever dreamt about being a landlord in a totalitarian state? Well, no. Uh, so now you can spy and report on everyone. Well, now is now possible thanks to Beholder and its original 2D gameplay. You can explore your apartment block and manage the tenants within. Bug tenants' homes with surveillance cameras while they're away to uncover their secrets. Search their belongings for anything that can threaten the authority of the state. Observe and profile each document of for hobbies, interests, and even conversations. Turn in, blackmail, or protect anyone capable of violating the laws, including your own family. Inspired by Orwell, Huxley, and Ray Bradbury books, Beholder will challenge your mind and ethics as every choice will have a consequence. <laughs> Beholder, the completed edition, includes the Blissful Sleep DLC, which includes the previous event before Carl Stein's arrival with more characters and stories to discover. Uh, $14.99 again. It's a three-year-old game. $9.99 would be better. Uh, conduct together. This looks like a very child-friendly game initially, but you might be surprised. Let's check it out. Oh, Night Trap really isn't a game. It's it's softcore porn in a lot of ways. So. In the business that I work in, we deal with a lot of model train people. And I think this is something that they would absolutely love because train people love trains of any type. I wonder if they have GP9s or GP40s or... Uh, yeah, this is... It reminds me of SimCity for trains. Oh, I would totally want to run into stuff. Dogs and cats living together, mass hysteria. So you can actually speed up or slow down your trains depending on uh, which track that you are controlling at the time. One of the neatest things when I was in Germany back in February is they have a huge warehouse that someone set up into a model train museum called the Miniature Wonderland. And it's just, it's four floors, huge, um, with the different train layouts and everything. It was really, really cool. Uh, so conduct everything yourself or hand a Joy-Con controller to a friend for a hectic teamwork of commanding trains, switching tracks, and avoiding collisions in an increasingly challenging action puzzle. Uh, play with up to four friends for the ultimate party games. Woo-woo. 
Uh, here's some rad things you can do on this game. Conduct trains in beautiful, low-poly 3D worlds. Simple and intuitive gameplay. Just click to start, stop trains, and control switches. Seamlessly shift between single and multiplayer. Play through the campaign as the solo conductor or pass a Joy-Con to a friend. Um, I love A-Train in downtown Minneapolis. Ah, very cool. Transport passengers, earn coins, and unlock new themed regions. Unlock trains around the real world, such as the French TGV and Japanese Shrinkhansen, to expand your train collection. Seriously challenging puzzles, earn awards for completing regions, and marvel at your success in the company headquarters. And it features a fantastic soundtrack from composer Simon Coley. Uh, it is one to four player and comes out on the 6th, 1999. SimCity for trains. It's kind of how I look at it. Basketball. What do you want to guess this game's about? Basketball. Another game where couldn't find any real information about it online as far as any videos and whatnot. Super low polygon count. Super low resolution. Um, it's 10 bucks. I don't know that I would really invest in it unless you are a diehard basketball fan and... Um, yeah, it's basketball. It's 10 bucks. So now let's talk about this little game here that's coming out on the 7th. Some of you may have heard Super Crash, Super Bash, Super, ha Super Smash Brothers. Um, and it comes out, there are two different versions, of course. You do have the regular version, and then there is the Elite version that also comes with the controller. Uh, the Fighter's Pass version, this one here is... Let's check it out. 8498 gets you 425 Nintendo eShop coins. And one of the reasons I'm not playing any video for Smash, I just don't want to have the video copyright claimed. I hope you guys understand. It's Smash. There's so many different links out there for it. So with the bundle, you get Smash Brothers Ultimate plus the Challenger Pack 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and the Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Pass Bonus Me Fighter. So 6, 12, 18, 24, 24, 30 bucks. So 59.99. It's basically saving you $5 to buy this pack altogether, and you get the uh, Ultimate Fighters Pass Bonus Me Fighters. Now, this is something. I'm not going to move through very quickly. Um, you guys in the chat, so Sean, you say that you're super hyped for Smash Brothers Ultimate. You've pre-ordered it. You want a physical copy. Who else in the chat is looking forward to Smash? Um, I know a lot of people were hoping and praying that we'd see Waluigi in here. It didn't happen. Um, there are some new characters in here, but not, I think, as many as people had initially hoped for. Um I think the Simon Belmont edition is pretty interesting. I've never been a huge Smash fan myself. The only Smash game that I've ever owned is the Wii U version. Um, I bought it. My daughter and I played it for, I think, two days, and it's set ever since. And that's part of the problem with this series for me has been if you don't have someone to play with, it's kind of meh. Um, but... With this version, you can now play online, so it may definitely be something worth uh, picking up. Uh, now, going back to, to the standard version, and it's $59.99, and you do get 300 Nintendo eShop coins if you do pick up this version. No additional... Um, uh, items available with this, but for there's a limited time. Piranha Plant, buy the digital version of Super Smash Brothers Ultimate game before January 31st, 2019, and get Piranha Plant for free. The download code for Piranha Plant DLC will be sent to the email associated with your Nintendo account at a later date. Piranha Plant will join the battle when it's available around February 2019. He will also be available as paid DLC at a later time. Um... Otherwise, you can get the bundle. I want Smash Brothers to have a fun story mode again. Yeah, that's. I mean, there's no story modes, or there hasn't been a really in-depth story mode. And one thing with this is you will need the Nintendo Online service to play the online features. You can play one to eight players, uh, two to four online, or two to eight local wireless. Um, 
Smash, I mean, it's it's a system seller. There are people who really still want to play Smash. Uh, and also, there are people who don't want to use this controller. They want to use the GameCube controller. And I am, as soon as this stream is over, I'm actually going to go on Amazon, and I'm going to order one of the 8-bit dough uh, GameCube adapters to try out just because I love the GameCube controller. And I want to see how it works on the Switch. But that is Super Smash Bros. Ultimate and the uh, Ultimate Fighters Pass. There is a third bundle that, because we're in the eShop, it doesn't show, but that also includes a Pro Controller with the Smash Brothers logo and everything on it. I believe that's like $130. Now, the Sega Genesis Collection, this one is $29.99, and you get 150 Nintendo eShop coins. And I think bad on me that I, yep, hang on one second. We need to add this to the stream real quick because I didn't do so. Uh, we do have a video. Um, and I apologize. It's just one of them that I missed getting set up. So we'll get this set up in just a second here. Um, in the meantime, let's still, let's talk about Smash a little bit as well. Um, when I play, I play as Mario just because I don't know the other fighters that well. Um, if I were to have a copy, I would probably check out um, Simon Belmont just with the new features that he is going to be bringing to the game itself. Come on. Oh, come on. There we go. Sorry about that. So we are going to pop this in real quick. That may not allow me to do, you know what? Probably is not going to, well, here we go. So one of the things with OBS is it is a huge resource hog. Um, so doing normal tasks is kind of painful. So let's see here. Should play just fine now, I'm hoping. There we go. Uh, so there's 50 titles in crew included across all genres from all-time classics like Sonic and Streets of Rage 2 to deep RPGs like Fantasy Star, action, arcade, shooters, beat-em-ups, puzzles, old favorites, and hidden gems. Um, save uh, new features, also bring modern convenience to the classics. Save your game at any time, rewind those slip-ups, or customize your controls. Earn bragging rights with online multiplayer and achievement. Now, this is something that... Um, it's actually been available for a little while on the, uh, I believe on the Xbox One and on the PlayStation 4. So it's one of those a little late to the game, but I am glad to see that we are getting it on the Switch. Um, let's see. Just got something exciting in the mail. I did not. Ooh. So, Eon Gaming is hitting CastlemaniaGames.com. You guys, check out my boy Ryan there. We'll have to talk later on tonight, my friend, because I need to verify some information with you. Um, so, very cool. Welcome to the uh, welcome to the stream here, Ryan. Uh, hello, neighbor, hide and seek. This comes out on the seventh as well. I w I thought the first one was kind of weird. Uh, this is twenty nine ninety nine normally on sale for twenty six ninety nine, and you do get one hundred and thirty five Nintendo eShop coins. The first game kind of reminded me of like an Ed Gein or an Ed Bundy kind of thing. Just, just creepy and pervy and like serial killer like. Never played it, just just kind of the vibe the game gave me. No worry, Ryan. Some would say I shouldn't type. Shouldn't post videos. Shouldn't be on YouTube. Or wait, hang on.
So this looks in many ways to be just a straight continuation from the original game. That's weird. Um, Hello Neighbor Hide and Seek follows the tragic story of the neighbor's family in this dramatic sequel to Hello Neighbor. Experience playing a game of hide and seek with your brother as you deal both deal with the loss of a family member. The game explains the events that led up to the original stealth horror hit Hello Neighbor. Um, and the sale ends on the 7th as well. Now... <sighs> This game makes me angry, because it's not a game. It's not a game at all. It's an application. It's a Santa tracker. You can get them for free on your iPhone, your iPad, your Android. You can get it for free on so many different things. But, nope, there's a company bringing one out to the Switch for 3 bucks, And it is, you also get 15 Nintendo eShop coins. Um... Features Santa Tracker Globe, Christmas Countdown, Santa's Blog, News and Letters, Sightings of Santa, One Player. Uh, stay away. This is one I would stay away from. And finally, the one I forgot originally is Katamari Damacy Reroll. And this is one that if you never had a chance to play the originals, you'll definitely want to check out. Um, unfortunately, the only videos I could find was from the uh, Nintendo broadcast where they talked about it. They didn't make a separate preview video or a tra uh, teaser trailer uh, of Katamari Damacy Reroll. Um, Stop it. Nothing. Pushing Prince is back and ready to reroll. When the king of all cosmos accidentally destroys all the stars in the sky, he orders you, his pint sized princely son, princely son, to put the twinkle back into the heavens above. Join the king and prince of cosmos on their wacky adventure to restore the stars at home or on the go now in full HD. Hey, is that CM Retro Gaming I see popping in there? It sure is. How you doing? Uh, players can use the Joy-Cons to control the Katamari using the gyro controls to turn and shake uh, the Joy-Cons to perform the Prince Dash when in tabletop mode. Players can also play on multiplayer mode with a friend by using two Joy-Cons on the Switch, one to two players coming out on the 7th as well for 30 bucks. Uh, that's going to do it for this week's releases. Coming forward is Guacamelee 2, uh, Everspace the Stellar Edition, Let's see, anything else of interest? Uh, Fantasy Star Sega Ages. That's coming out. We'll look at that later. Yeah, but this is a classic galactical adventure that will be coming to the Switch. Boy, that looks really sharp. I like the mapping that they did with the graphics up top, too, where it has the, the Master System and Sega Ages logo up top. Uh, what else? Roller Coaster Tycoon Adventures. Um... Anything else of note? Nothing that really jumps out at me, at least initially. Um, and I do think, oh, sorry, kind of went through there a little bit quick, but um, it's one of those where this is really the big release week for the rest of the year for the Switch with um, uh, Smash Brothers coming out. I mean, let's, let's just be honest about it. This is the biggest release probably of the year for the Switch. It's a system mover. Um, I would say even more so than Pokemon. Um, so to see this coming at this time of year, it's a big win for Nintendo. We do have uh, the Video Game Awards coming up later this week, so I'm sure we're going to see... Uh, well, I'm not sure, but it's been rumored that we may see some Metroid uh, reveals come through there and some other information. Um, 
Make sure if you haven't done so as well, go ahead, give this video a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. If this is your first time here to one of our streams, I also really appreciate it. Uh, hit that subscribe button. That way, each and every time we do go live, you do have uh, you know a notification essentially to note when we are live. Especially if you hit that that little bell notification, you get uh, an alert on your phone or via email and everything to let you know that we are live. If you've got any comments or questions too, as always, leave them here in the chat. Even if you're watching after the fact, I do uh, archive and post this after the fact for everybody to check out. You can also send me an email over at rocksolidmail at gmail.com if you've got any questions. You can follow me on Twitter and ask me questions there too, at Rock Solid Studios. Why Rock Solid Studios and not Rock Solid Productions? Too many characters. Uh, we're over at Facebook at facebook.com slash Productions. And if you want to get uh, early access to all of our video content, exclusive content, and help the channel out as well, you can always help us out over at our Patreon page at patreon.com slash rocksolid. For just a dollar a month, $12 a year, you get early access to all of our videos, exclusive content, and a whole lot more. And if you want to you know, get your hands on some shirts featuring that logo there or the logos of the NES or Super NES carts, you can do so by heading to our Teespring store on screen right now. Um, and pretty much everything that we get uh, for the channel as far as either from a Teespring sale or from our Patreons or Super Chats or what have you, everything gets invested right back into the channel here too. And if you need any retro accessories, make sure you head out and check out Ryan over CastlemaniaGames.com. Orders over $20. You get free shipping and handling here in the U.S. And on many items on the website, use promo code ROX10 and you'll save 10%. Uh, another thing, too, talking about the subscribe button and hitting that, we do have videos coming out featuring gear coming to us either from Castlemania Games or that you can get from CastlemaniaGames.com uh, to kind of give you a heads up on some videos coming out a little bit later this week. I do have my... All my footage finally done for the Hyperkin Mega Retron HD. And the issue I was running into with that video was the fact that I couldn't get a good working copy of, do I have it here? I don't, of Virtual Racing. And I heard from a number of people that Virtual Racing did indeed work, and I wanted to make sure that we demonstrated that in the video. I've got the footage shot. I've just got to go ahead and do the edits. I may actually do that yet tonight before I head off to bed. In addition, our full-blown review of the uh, Sony PlayStation Classic will be up this week, too. If you haven't had a chance to do so yet, please go ahead and check out the unboxing video that we posted last night. Um, one thing that I haven't seen anyone else mention anywhere is how poorly the controllers, at least in, in my opinion, feel in hand. They feel like knockoffs versus legit items from Sony, and I haven't seen anyone else bring that up as of yet. Uh, in addition, we're going to work on some holiday gift guides here, probably uh, towards the end of this week, beginning of next week for the Switch and the PS4. Might get into the Xbox a little bit since I have access to one. I've played around with one a little bit now. Uh, definitely retro gaming. Uh, we're going to hit two. Um, and a whole lot more getting ready to go through the holidays. So uh, we'll throw it out to the, the live chat here for a few more minutes, see if anyone has any other questions. Otherwise, we are going to uh, cut you loose and get back to some editing here tonight. Uh, we will do some live streaming later on uh, this week featuring the PlayStation Classic Edition 2 um, and maybe even some Doki Doki Panic on the... Um, uh, Sharp Famicom Twin. Um, yeah, Ryan says himself he agrees with the controllers. Uh, I hope, and I haven't seen uh, anyone mention it yet, the cables on the controllers aren't even six feet long. Uh, so I'm hoping that someone will make some extension cables for the uh, PlayStation Classic that you'll be able to get through CastlemaniaGames.com. Uh, buttons are good, but the body of the controller didn't feel right. I agree. It felt, even the plat the outer shell felt like, it just felt off. Uh, it's the best way that I could say it. You could tell it wasn't the same uh, composite that they used with the original controllers. 
Uh, so above and beyond that, we will be back next week during our normal Monday time slot, uh, just with the release of the PlayStation Classic again, with nothing major coming out uh, until the end of this week. I just felt that it was right to push, switch it up back a day. Um, ah, I'll have to check out Spawnway's video. I did not... Uh, did not check his out yet. It's one of those where until I finish my reviews on stuff, I don't watch other people's content on similar topics. I just don't want to. I'm a parrot, and I just don't want to say uh, um, say something or bring up something in a way that someone else would have as well. So um, that's going to do it for tonight's episode of Switch It Up. I appreciate everybody coming by. Uh, you are awesome. You are the reason why this channel continues to grow and get better and move forward as we are approaching 5,000 subscribers. Um, that's my goal that I had at the beginning of the year to hit was 5K, and um, God willing, we're going to do it. So uh, I am Gary. This has been Rock Solid Productions, and this week's episode of Switch It Up and until next week or our live stream, we are checked out, gone.